Hey guys, it's Sharon from Digital Nomad Quest, and today we're gonna do the ultimate convert kit tutorial for your email marketing needs. Now, if you guys are new to the channel, welcome. I'm all about teaching y'all how to build passive income, become financially free, and design your best lives. So if you guys are interested in that, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell button to be notified of my latest videos. So when I first started building my brand, everyone was basically saying you should do email marketing. And I will attest to this, that growing your list is super important. Basically, if you lost all your different platforms, for example, if YouTube went down, Instagram went down, then you wouldn't be safe you would basically lose your audience and it would be really hard to communicate with them but if you're building a list and all your platforms went away you're still gonna be safe because you still have your audience your email list is something you own but if you have you know YouTube Instagram and all these other places that you have a following around who knows what's gonna happen you have no idea if anything's gonna close down for example TikTok was gonna be banned by Trump I have no idea what's gonna happen with that but you never know if these platforms are at risk to close down so when I first started doing email marketing I started with MailChimp and then I upgraded to ConvertKit I went to ConvertKit because I wanted those automated email funnels that everyone talks about. And a lot of people were recommending ConvertKit because of the design and basically how simple it is to use. And after having used ConvertKit for a couple of years now, I definitely feel like it's the best email marketing platform. A lot better than MailChimp. I'm a fan of its visual appeal and it's easy to use interface. So I highly recommend checking out ConvertKit. If you're still on the fence, I'm gonna do a tutorial right now. So essentially I'm gonna screen share and walk you through the process. I'm gonna talk about how to set up ConvertKit, how to manually add subscribers or import a list. I'm also gonna talk about how to send broadcast emails, how to create landing pages, how to sync it up with WordPress, and also how to level up with automations and email sequences. I'm also gonna briefly go over their new product section because it's new and it's really exciting that they have this new feature. So this is gonna be a jam-packed tutorial. I hope it helps you guys. And if you guys want a link to ConvertKit, you can get the free trial or you can get the free version through my link below and you can try it out and see what you think. Now I'm gonna walk you guys through the setup process. So if you go to pricing right now, you can see that they have a free plan, the creator plan, and the creator pro plan. I'm currently on the creator plan. And before, when I first signed up, they actually didn't have this free plan. But basically the free plan doesn't include the free migration from another tool. So if you were on another email platform, they're not gonna be able to like move everything you have from there to ConvertKit. You also don't get the automated funnels and sequences. And actually I signed up for ConvertKit because of the automated funnels and sequences. I really think that what they offer with the sequences and funnels is super powerful and that's why I like ConvertKit. But for the purposes of this, I'm just gonna go over signing up for the free plan and I would just highly recommend going straight up to the free trial here so you can test out the automated sequences. But I'll show you in the back end with my own dashboard and I can show you the funnels and sequences I'm currently running and how to set up there in this tutorial. So first let's go ahead and click sign up free and we'll just say I'm starting with email Let's say I have a website and let's say I have WordPress. By the way, you guys should definitely go with WordPress if you guys are creating a website. Link below for HostGator for your hosting plan and Namecheap for your domains. I have a bunch of videos talking about how to set up your website, but make sure to go check those out and make sure to go ahead and check out HostGator. And I'm gonna go over in the tutorial how to connect ConvertKit with your WordPress account in a bit. So first let's just put a BS email in here. <laughs> okay. Okay, so now we are in the platform and here they actually have tutorials for you to go over, but we're just gonna go straight into manually adding subscribers. So you're gonna go ahead and click subscribers here and say you've already built an email list and you wanna transfer people over or you wanna add people manually, go ahead and click add subscribers and it's gonna ask you to create a new tag. And what tags basically mean is you can tag users based on what they're interested in or what they've opted in. So for me personally, I have different offerings for or free opt-in. So maybe I have like a free crash course for Etsy. People who download that free offering will be tagged with the tag Etsy. So I'm gonna just put an example here. We're gonna put website. So you're gonna always need to tag users to a tag. That's just the way it works here. So create tag. And then you can add a single subscriber, import a CSV or import from another provider. So if you're gonna do a single subscriber, all you have to do is put their first name and then their email here. And then we only have one tag right now. So you would add it into this website tag, okay? Let's Let's cancel that and then let's click add subscribers and then we're gonna create tag again go to import a csv so this basically allows you to import a an existing csv file with names and emails so i created an example here so what you're going to do is just put emails in one column and name in another column now i'm just going to drag that over here and right here they're going to match the fields to the headers so uh, here my header was email you're just going to match it to email 
We're gonna match name to first name and then you're gonna click import subscribers. Now we can refresh and now you can see that it'll update with a bunch of stats. So basically having this macro view is super useful for kind of seeing how your email list is growing. So as you're building your email list, you can filter by days, weeks, months, and you can see how your list is growing over time. Now you can see that the emails that you've imported are right here. So everything's working. So again, to explain those tags, right? If you have multiple tags here, you can tag different emails to different tags. For example, if these emails were interested in Etsy, I would tag them with that and then in the future maybe some other ones come in from a real estate offering and then I would tag them with that and this allows you to basically segment your users and email specific offerings or specific informational emails to your different subsets next I'm gonna go over how to send broadcast emails so basically broadcast emails are pretty much a feature that you can see in most emails so what I like about convert kits broadcast function is that the way they do their emails is more simplified and I feel like on mail Chimp. they add a bunch of like images and HTML that make it more prone to being in promotions and spam I don't know if this is fixed now or not but I like how simplified convert kits interface is and how they send their emails so let's go ahead and do a new broadcast and this basically means the emails that you manually create and send off because the difference is one is the broadcast and the others are the email sequences that are automated when people get a free offering or something like that and you just send a bunch of emails in a sequence without you having to manually create it because you've already set up those funnels hopefully that makes sense but let's just go into the broadcast function so click new broadcast and who will this broadcast be from it'll be from this random account that I created and you're just gonna go into next step and all you got to do is write the subject here welcome um, let's just say new YouTube video how to how to make money online. I don't know. So when you're writing this, all you gotta do is add the header. So if you want a personalized greeting, you can do this and just change it to hey. And then basically if the first name isn't there, it'll just say hey there. If not, it'll just go to their first name. So it's personalized. And then all you gotta do is just write whatever you wanna write here. And you can add images, you can add buttons, everything like that, super easy. And then when you go to the next step, it'll tell you what it looks like and you can just immediately send broadcasts or you can schedule them out. So you can just do that and you can schedule out an email. So let's unschedule this though. Also, if you wanna preview your emails, you can go ahead and send the preview to your email and you'll see what it looks like. This is a great way to check that it's not going to spam or going to promotions, making sure that you're sending these emails to their primary inbox. And that is usually triggered by not having too much HTML, too many images, like I mentioned before. You wanna make your email clean cut and make it so it doesn't trigger Gmail or whatever to think it's spam. So that's basically how you do your broadcast emails. Now let's go into how to create landing pages and forms. I really like, again, ConvertKit's way of doing this. It's very easy. So let's go into create new. And you can either create a form or create a landing page. And what that means, you know on websites when you see articles and you see a form on the bottom, that's basically what this means. Or you can have a pop-up on your website that's the form. And with the landing page, you're basically directing them to a page with a free offering or something like that. So the form is embedded or is a pop-up and the landing page is a straight up link. So first let's go into landing page. Um, so you get a bunch of these cool templates and you can decide what works for you. And they have different categories that'll tell you which one's better for which one. So if you have a podcast, maybe these templates will do better. If you have a webinar that you want to get people on so that they subscribe, and then they're gonna get the link to your webinar, this is a better way to go. So when you do that, right, it'll basically allow you to edit this very easily. Just change the text to whatever you want. You go back and you can change the background image of this. So it's very easy to edit. Now you can save and publish this, but if you wanna customize your domain, you can click here and you can add your custom domain and it'll have instructions on how to basically connect this with your WordPress website. This right now is the website you just created, but it's not like your own domain. So if you wanna connect it, you have to go into your account settings. You have to connect your DNS records and everything like that. So I won't go too granular into that. That's how you would connect it. But even if you don't do that, you can already just send this web page and it'll already work. But let's go ahead and try a form version. So like I mentioned, you can do a modal, which is a pop-up 
up, a slide in is on the bottom corner, sticky bars at the top, inline would be what you do to embed a page. Let's do inline right now. So I'm using this one, pine, I like pine, but I think all of these kind of work, but let's just choose pine right now. So again, you can change up the wording here, add an image. So once you've figured out the form you wanna create, you can embed this on your website. Straight up, you can send this version like this. That's probably not the best way though, right? You usually wanna put it on your website. If you're not using the ConvertKit plugin, you can copy and paste this or the HTML version into your blog post and that will embed the form. It could be in the middle or on the bottom, but if you wanna use their ConvertKit plugin, that's actually what I do. So I'm gonna show you guys what that looks like. All right, so I'm showing you guys my website. So when you go into plugins, you can basically install ConvertKit, but I already have it installed here. So if you go into settings, here you're going to enter your API key and your API secret. You'll be able to get that information when you go into account info, you can copy the API key and copy the API secret. That is what you're gonna go and copy and paste into your ConvertKit plugin so that it'll get connected. Once you've connected everything, it'll allow you to choose the forms that you have created so here I have a bunch of forms and this is going to be the default forms for every basically every uh, post that I create it'll have this embedded on the bottom but if you create a multiple forms and you want to use different forms on different articles you can totally do that within the settings of the specific post that you've created but the default form is going to be the one you selected here all right, so that's basically how you do the landing pages and the broadcast. Now let's talk about creating automations and email sequences because this is probably the best part of everything. It's the part where you can create a bunch of free offerings for your users and send them to your email list and then get an email sequence of automated emails you've created for them that give value. This allows things to be more hands-off for you, right? You don't wanna keep writing a bunch of emails for everybody, especially if they're all in different segments like maybe one got the Etsy offering, one got the real estate offering. You don't wanna manually send all these users different things, it's so much work. This allows everything to be simplified. They will go into a funnel and they will get emails automatically. I can't do this in this free version because that free version doesn't include this function. That's why I recommend the creator plan. So let's go into my dashboard and I'll show you guys what that looks like. All right, now we're in my automations. So if you click new automation, you can create a new one. And what you're gonna do is when a subscriber is added to a specific form, so maybe they got into, I'm just gonna put this here, right? So they got the digital download ideas for Etsy. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure they are tagged. So they are tagged with like Etsy. So now we've added this action, right? That means anyone who downloaded this offering will get tagged and then I'm gonna add them into a specific email sequence. So I have a bunch of different ones, so I couldn't just add them to like the three day crash course or something. But for this, I'm just gonna delete all of these because this isn't exactly <laughs> what I want. But essentially that's how it works, right? Here are the different templates that people normally do. So this might look kind of complicated, but essentially the idea is you might have different offerings for your website right maybe someone came in I, I always use the same examples right but Etsy real estate whatever they are all kind of segmented in your audience you might not want to offer one thing to the real estate people but you might want to offer it to the Etsy people this means that you want to make sure they're tagged but you also want to make sure each email sequence that they get is tailored to what they're interested in so I know Pat Flynn before I don't know if he's still doing it but you know his site is smartpassiveincome.com but essentially when he is sending out emails to his users he gauges if their business is from zero to $1,000 a month, 1,000 to 5,000, and then 5,000 or more or something like that. So he has segmented his audience into these three different groups to make sure that the content they get is based off of their level, right? So if they are more beginner, they're gonna get beginner email sequence. If they are more intermediate, they get the intermediate sequence and so on. If two offerings are kind of similar, you can send them into the same email sequence. It might be something like this where they're getting different offerings, but then they're going into one sequence. These are just different templates you can use and then you can like tailor it to what you want. But let's just go back and let's go into the email sequences. So when you go into email sequence, you can create a new sequence and let's just call it Etsy or something. So I'm gonna create the sequence and what this allows you to do is you're gonna say like, welcome to our whatever course. I'm just BSing right now, but this is your subject line. And just like a broadcast email, you're gonna write down what 
you want to write here. These are just instructions that they have created for you. So essentially right now you would just write up, you know, welcome to blank, you know, just talk about yourself and what your mission is. Ask a question to your audience. Like for mine, I have this welcome email and then they basically get a few questions, they can respond to it. And then that's like one to send is like, you can do it immediately. So if you do zero days, it's immediately. So once they get free offering or whatever, they sign up for your email list, they get this welcome. Then you can add another email and basically say, you know, here's the first lesson. I don't know, it just depends on what you're offering, but like you can create multiple emails here where it just sends one day after or two days after, whatever you want. And if you wanna exclude different days, like maybe you don't think weekends do as well, you just exclude those and it'll just send after that for the next day, right? So this one is only on weekdays, you'll get this sent. So if you see the sequence right now, it's immediately and then the day after you get this first lesson, this one you get another lesson and then two days after and you make sure that it's not on a weekend, you'll get another email. Email. So this is basically what an email sequence is. I'm gonna delete this after because it's just a BS template. I'm just showing you guys right now. But as you can see now I've created an Etsy email sequence and that's gonna go back to the automations where when you click new automation, you can essentially add that email sequence we just made here. Now they're gonna be tagged and now they're gonna get the email sequence that we mentioned here. So I hope that makes sense. And that's what's so powerful because I have all these email sequences running at the same time and you know I can send them discount codes or different things like that that lead to the paid course and those will send automatically as they are doing the lessons from the free course. So that's what I've been doing. I've been sending free courses, free toolkits and people get value from them. And then you know I upsell maybe a paid thing and they can decide if it's right for what they're looking for or not. Basically that paid course is kind of like that next level. Like if you wanna up your skills in Etsy, this is where I batch all my info that I know that has helped me succeed. That's essentially how a lot of people kind of make money through their email sequences. They do that, upselling your own products, or you know, you can send them to different blog posts that have affiliate links, and whenever people purchase from those links, you get commissions. So that's why email is so powerful because you can create these automated sequences and you can create tailored broadcast emails, send them directly to their inbox, like a personalized message and things like that. This allows you to do everything like that and it allows you to segment your audience. And when you segment your audience and kind of tailor your offerings to what they want, it can really boost your revenue. It can really help your users get exactly what they want. All right, so I've gone over a lot of things. I've gone over importing your subscribers. I've gone over broadcast emails, creating landing pages, how to automate your email sequences. But let's also go over products, which I haven't actually started selling online with ConvertKit, but I just wanna say that this is something they just recently created and it's so cool because essentially it's kind of like Gumroad. You can sell a product like an ebook or a course even, and you can charge a price or you can do a subscription. So maybe you want them to get into this monthly Facebook group or something like that and they need to pay for this product. This will allow you to create these products. And once you click set up payments and you set everything up, then when people go to those products, they can essentially pay you and then get their digital product and you make money. This is what I like about ConvertKit too, that ConvertKit is creating more and more features that people are asking for based on their feedback and this makes everything worth it, I think, with the subscription model because it allows you to easily sell your products online on your own domain. So I hope you guys liked the tutorial. I know it was jam-packed with a lot of information, but if you have any questions around any of the features, make sure to comment below and I'll try my best to answer them. If you guys like this video, make sure to smash the like button, subscribe, hit the bell button to be notified of my latest videos, and I'll see you guys in the next one.